Kate and I actually got started when we were living in Las Vegas. We were out at a nightclub one night and some of the go-go dancers had some crazy wild costumes on from Brazil and they had these headpieces on that were made out of what appeared to be hair, fake weave, um, extensions. And we both looked at each other kind of at the same time and thought of Derby and we were like, okay, these are awesome headpieces. We need to figure out how they made these. And so we ended up going to Derby that year and making these huge hats made out of weave and um, we got so much attention from them. We decided after that year that we needed to start a business and start making hats for people and selling them. So when we wore the hair hats, we kind of got a name. They were calling us the hair hat girls. And then the next year we went back with these big feather hats and it was kind of like, oh, the girls. You know, so that's kind of where our name came from, the Hat Girls. I think that's been one of the biggest surprises for Kate and I. Once Before we got into the Derby hat business, my impression was people just wore these kind of hats to the Derby. Um, like, hat making is a dead art, so other than the Derby and horse races in the United States, there's really not a lot of hat wear. Hat wearing between women and men anymore. I mean, the 20s and 30s, obviously it was huge, but with getting into the hat business, we've realized that Dubai, um, England, Australia, they have year-round horse racing and hat wearing, whether it's to weddings, bridal showers, race days. I mean, it's huge, much more so internationally than it is in the U.S. But I do feel lucky that being from Louisville, we understand like the importance and the tradition of the hat wearing to the Derby that now we can go international and that's where we plan to take the business eventually. We're different because we do everything one of a kind and we, we like to do different standout designs. We do a lot of custom orders. So um, we like to spend time with our clients, get an idea of who they are and what they're wearing and um, you know really make something nice just for them that will make them stand out. Usually the women start with having their dress first and we'll design the hat around it. Every once in a while someone will want to do a hat and try to find a try to find a dress to match. But so we usually get inspired by the colors and the design of the dress and then also we meet with the client, you know, try to go off their personality and you know if they would want something bigger that's going to really stand out or we also do, you know, like the classic um, hats as well. So with the hats, we don't actually form the bases of our actual hats. So we start with a hat base, it goes from there. So a, we use a lot of feathers in, um, in decorating our hats, so there's a lot of feather work that goes into it. With feathers, there's so many things you can do to them. We use hair straighteners, curlers, we glue them, we sew them on, um, we cut them in a lot of different ways to make them look different, and then there's a um, a material that we use called cinnamé, which is probably the most popular material that we use, and that is something that we, you start with it as a, a block of material and you cut it out and then it's moldable, so you can use it to make loops and different shapes on the hat. And then we also make all of our fascinators from scratch, so that's something that doesn't require a hat form, and we can mold those with our hands, um, so anything that goes on a headband or a clip or anything that we can actually mold, we do. Um, so we do like to call ourselves milliners in that case. So yeah, we do use um, some hat bases from different companies and that kind of gives us a head start um, since we don't have the materials and tools to block them ourselves. But um, yeah, we do a little bit of both. We, we try to make whatever we can with our hands just so we can take full credit for it. Being able to work with my best friend it's, <laughs> it's, yeah, we, um, we met in high school and have always talked about starting a business in fashion together. Um, so it's, you know, it's really nice. We both live in, in different areas of the country, so it's nice to be able to come together this one time of year and uh, spend time together and put our creative energy together and come up with some really amazing things. I do love working with Kate. We have so much energy shared between the two of us when we're creative together and she is like one of the only people that I feel like I could do this with so being down here for you know 18 to 24 hours a day during the busy times there's nobody else I could do this with I mean we're essentially the same person at this point and being able to create with her like we definitely play off each other in that aspect and the other thing is I like the derby is my favorite day of the year so now that 
you know, I don't live in Kentucky and I'm able to come back for these two months a year when the whole city is just thriving and, you know, it's, it's just a whole different vibe around Derby time. The whole month of April and into May, this, this is definitely the best time of the year to be in Kentucky. So the fact that we get to work and be almost in the middle of all of it, you know, and all the parties and getting people dolled up for this big day that is a once in a lifetime bucket list event for so many people is really exciting. It's almost like being a part of somebody's wedding day and getting them dressed up and it's awesome to see people wearing our creations. I just, I see us growing. This is our third year. Last year we quadrupled our business, which was amazing. I think a lot of that had to do with our social media and um, just putting ourselves out there. It's nice that Rachel and I are both from Louisville, so we have a lot of good contacts here, which helps us a lot. But yeah, I, I definitely, we want to get to a place where we're actually forming the bases of the hats. We want to do everything. So I see us both taking some more millinery classes in the future and um, really building our hat making skills. and you know, taking it as far as we can. We'd like to be the official hat makers for the Kentucky Derby.